A warm welcome to Festo's virtual exhibition. Thank you for joining us in our live stream. Let's now talk about lifelong learning, because we all know it's never too late to learn, especially when it comes to Industry 4.0. How can you enable your team to be prepared perfectly for Industry 4.0? The answers will follow. Have fun with our next session. Welcome. My name is Sandra Funk and together with the member of our board from Festo Didactic, Mr. Dr. Stotz, we will bring you closer to the topic, Master Productivity, Enable Your Team for Industry 4.0. In the following 15 minutes, we will bring you into the topic of digitization and associated changes in education and qualification. The second part of this presentation, we will show you a concrete example how we define the curriculum of the future. Industry 4.0 uh, as a term has been around for quite a while. When Professor Kagam and Professor Walz and Professor Lukas coined the term, they were basically thinking about how we can take digitization into the manufacturing space. What was the purpose? I think at the end of the day, we wanted to have logistics, manufacturing, picking up kind of the digital technologies to drive productivity on the one hand side, but also develop new business models. Now, if we look at what happened so far, I think there was a lot of experiments, a lot of discussions about standardization, how we can take the technology forward and make it ready to do Industry 4.0. But if we're looking around and ask ourselves, has the initial promise about productivity really kind of happened? We have to say that productivity in a broad field has not yet been established. Now, what is the reason or one of the reasons why we haven't harvested the, 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 the impact of Industry 4.0 so far. I think one of the key elements is that there's a limiting factor, and that limiting factor is the human. We don't have enough people who really understand those technologies and really take them down onto the shop floor. If you look at what has changed since, I think we have built a lot of competencies in the initial first-time education. And there we see that those new topics have basically reached the education of new the new generation of students. But the people on the shop floor who are working since years, they have not yet gained the skills that are required. I mean, digitization means a rapid change of technologies. That rapid change of technologies is in increasingly impacting the innovation cycle. So innovation becomes faster and faster. And that change also impacts learning. We constantly need to update ourselves to be on the latest technologies and basically take it into our profession. Now, lifelong learning has been a term that has been around for a long time, but now it needs to become real because Industry 4.0 and digitization really require us to speed up and basically drive constant education. What does digitization mean for learning? Digitization for learning, and for us at Festa Didactic, means two things. Number one, Sure, I mean, there is, on the one hand side, digitization of the learning itself. So people are having different expectations on how you learn and how you basically consume new information. On the other hand, digitization is the theme, the topic that we need to bring into the professions, to the people who learn. Most of us have experienced in the context of the corona, of the COVID-19 situation, that our kids at school have seen a very, very different situation of learning. Learning remotely has become a big theme, and that is something that will drive digitization as well. So if you're looking at what has happened in, the, for, exa for example, the German education space, the occupations have been updated. So the new students who learn are basically getting Industry 4.0 content. However, and as I stated before, the colleagues on the shop floor are not yet in that state. But they have a very different expectations on how they want to learn. So learning for professionals is not the same as learning at a university. Learning for professional means you need to be able to s put the learning into the free slots that you have available and that you can basically use for learn to update yourself. So that means you need to have less time and it needs to fit to your actual current problem. What does this mean for us at Festo Didactic? It means for us that we need to provide 
students and professionals with an environment that gives you smaller chunks of information, smaller knowledge pieces, knowledge nuggets, learning nuggets in, in different situations through video, through smaller items on the internet, mobile learning that you can do on the bus, on the train, at home. As we learn languages today, you want to learn technology and industry for the dome. So what we've been doing is we introduced this year Festival Learning Experience, a digital learning experience that provides exactly that to our students out there on the community colleges and in the factories. A second requirement for professional education, in particular in the area of Industry 4.0, is you want to learn with real-world real hardware. So you don't want to work with toys. You want to have industrial components and really work with those to make Industry 4.0 happen. But on the other hand, you cannot disrupt the ongoing production processes. So learning is a sort of challenge to do that in the real world stuff. So what we are providing is learning solutions that really kind of have all the Industry 4.0 components inside and basically give you the opportunity to learn on the real world stuff in a separate, safe environment that does not disrupt production. Both things combined, a learning experience platform and, on the other hand, a real-world learning solution are basically creating a good foundation for industry for the learning. But at the end of the day, I think it's not kind of the learning situation that is decisive alone. The real, real difference comes in is do we have access to the real up-to-date information tech and, and learnings. So what we did is we are teaching two subjects. We're trying to provide you with abilities to learn agile innovation methods, which is one thing that you need in Industry 4.0 to, to basically master the fast iteration of innovation cycles. And on the other hand, there's a lot of domain knowledge that we provide to you in curriculum. I mean, topics like programming of controllers, uh, networks, the collection of smart data and using smart data or cybersecurity are themes that are super relevant. And Dr. Funk on my side will basically show you how we created curricula that really provide you with a comprehensive perspective on Industry 4.0. As Mr. Dr. Stotz mentioned, we are living in a constantly changing world. But what does that mean for you as a team leader, or as a trainer? And how can you provide an answer of the ever faster changing technologies with an valuable didactical concept? And how can you motivate your students and your employees again and again to deal with the new topics of Industry 4.0? The topics, regardless of training or education, are always the same. It's just the learning way which is different from them. Let's take a look at the first slide. There you can see an example of the job role maintenance. Maybe we can go back to the spider diagram. There you can see the job role as an example of the smart main or the maintenance techni technician. And you can see the changing requirements and skills for that. These job roles are the fundamentals to create our um, landscape or content landscape. This was the basis to create that. So as you can see now in the slide, that's our landscape with we defined five columns for that. Two columns for the mechatronic fundamentals or mechatronic topics, the other three columns for the industry 4.0 topics. The concept or the idea behind this concept was to bring a student or an employee from the fundamentals of mechatronics step by step to the next advanced topics of mechatronic with a short introduction into the topics Industry 4.0 and another uh, topics for or the, the basic topics for Industry 4.0, then he will start to the um, next column, the fourth column, with the advanced topics of Industry 4.0. At the end of this landscape, the student or employee will be an expert in Industry 4.0. But what does that mean for you as a trainer or as a team leader? How can you integrate these topics in your qualification or learning path? We would like to give you a concrete example of this. At the moment, we are standing in front of the productivity master, which covers or symbolized and model production with industry 4.0 technologies. 
our learning systems, the MPS series, the CP Lab system, or the CP Factory, we will focus on different target groups. For example, the MPS series and the CP Lab systems are made for the beginners. There we have a lot of fundamentals topics and some Industry 4.0 topics. Our biggest factory, the CP Factory, will prepare for the experts. There we can teach a lot of, a lot of Industry 4.0 topics in a complexity way. But what does that mean for our newest system, for example? With our MPS series, the smallest system, the MPS 403, we will cover a lot of topics from the fundamentals up to the Industry 4.0 topics. The idea behind is to go step by step from a very small module or component to a system, uh, to a station and come up to a system. We define therefore two different courses. One course type is called the station courses. So for you as a team leader or as an instructor, it's possible to make a methodical mix and to, to um, make group learning possible. There you can see, for example, the courses sensors and actuators or pneumatics. The second step is the introduction to Industry 4.0. Therefore, we have some story courses, means the topic is getting complexer and then you need a whole system and not only one station. For these topics, for example, Industry 4.0 or energy efficiency, we need a lot of data and information for the student to handle with them. And back to the initial question, how can you provide a curriculum or valuable curriculum in these changing days? With these modular curriculum, it, it's possible to, um, to, teach, or to teach a mechatronics student or to teach a specialist with some um, individual topics. Create these curricula, we didn't do them kind of in isolation. I mean, we were in a lot of conversations with kind of leading schools, with universities, but also with kind of companies and partners to co define what you see here. So the curriculum is a fairly broadly validated, I would say, best in class version of what you can learn in industry for the dough today. We're still using the learnings from our interaction, for example, with the platform industry 4.0 in other countries to see how that fits globally, because a lot of our customers have the challenge to have a similar quality of education across the globe in different plans, be it in the US or be it in China. So our approach here is to provide a curriculum that you can basically get on US colleges as well as in vocational schools in China. So if you want to learn more about how we help you to master productivity by upgrading your, your workforce, I think we would really love to see you and welcome you in our booth and show you in more detail the curriculum, the topics in there, but also our learning systems and how that all nicely combines with FESTA learning experience as a learning platform. Thank you very much. And we thank you for the great overview. Uh, we received some questions, and, and I'd like to hand over two of them to you. The first question is, why, so this is a tough question, why should I choose you when I need a partner for industry for all qualification? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's fair to say that we are, on the one hand side, an education systems provider, mm -hmm. but we are a production company ourselves, and we are part of the FESTA family. Yeah. And as part of the FESTA family, I think what we do is we have a c intense collaboration with FESTA on how can you really learn from real-world situations in factories, how do you need to train people there. We are training our own people inside, so I think we know what we're talking about. And the same thing is, I mean, FESTA has always been a leading company in the discussions of Industry 4.0 in the platform Industry 4.0, and this gives us access to a broad network where we are discussing what is the latest trends and I think we just know what we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> and we can ask other customers perfect choice I would say. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. And there is a second question. Why is Industry 4.0 so challenging for employees and there has always been technological change? 
I mean, it, a lot of people, I mean, what, what the, the big change in uh, industry 4.0 is, is that the speed of change is increasing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have been used to a very stable environment. And it's actually been a mantra in production. You don't want to change things too quickly because a stable process is a good process. And that is kind of a mindset change. Yeah. So we're talking a lot here about the... The, the content, what do you need to learn, which topics do you need to learn, but it's also a way of working that you need to uh, change. It's uh, agility, design thinking to understand problems are aspects that have not been in the DNA of manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And bringing that in and making people understand that change and in a safe environment also sometimes failure and trying things out is an option, is actually a good thing if you recognize them early and then adjust, is something that has not been in the engineering culture. Mm -hmm. And this is why I think a lot of people are struggling with the question, what do we do with all these new technologies? But I think we see people picking it up and we see the mind change, so I think we're in a good way. Great. So thank you for the dive into Festa Didactics. <laughs> if you, ladies and gentlemen, have more questions, please visit our booth area. Our experts, our specialists are happy to answer all the questions you may have and for sure um, take you on a closer look uh, into the world of Festa Didactics. If you like, stay for a while. In uh, this session, uh, in the next session, we will have a presentation about sustainability in automation in Chinese. And if you'd like to switch to the second um, one, we have a Festa Motion Terminal presentation, which will start in 15 minutes. So see you there and thank you for your attention. <laughs>